Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's look at our next set. This is a set of, of uh, 3D connections where we have three force components. We have an object resting on a rough surface. That object is allowed to travel in any direction, but because of the friction, there's potential force in the x in the z direction. In the x direction, of course, we still have the normal force up away from the floor, normal to the floor, compensating for the weight or the force that this object places on the floor. So we have our first force directly upward. That's the force in the y direction. Since the friction, since the surface is not frictionless, there is friction there. We have potentially a force in the x direction and we have potentially force in the z direction as well. So there's three force components, force in the z, force in the x due to the friction, and also force in the y direction because of the weight or the force being placed down on the surface. Another potential connection that we have is what we call a ball and socket. It's kind of like a bone inside a joint in your body. Well, we have connections like that in the engineering world as well. Again, it supports the weight of the object this way, so there's a force directly upward. That would be in the y direction, but because the, the socket holds the ball and the ball is not able to move in the xz plane, we can also have force in the x direction and forces in the z direction. So there's a second force like this, force in the x direction, and a third force like this, force in the z direction. There's where you have the three force components. On the XYZ coordinate system, you can see that you have a force in the X direction, a force in the Y direction, and a force in the Z direction. So in this particular case, you'd have to find the magnitude of the force in all three directions to solve problems with connections like this.